Hi, in this video I will show you three shadows that I've made from different composite materials. The first one here is a shadow made from flax fiber. Flax fiber is a native fiber to Western Europe, uh, mostly Belgium, the Netherlands and the north of France. Um, and it's a very strong natural fiber. So you can use it as a natural replacement for carbon or glass fiber in industry. Um, and you can also use it to make instruments. Um, some guitars already exist and ukuleles made from these fibers, but as far as I know, uh, no shallows have ever been made uh, from this flex fiber. So as you can see, I have aligned most of the flex fibers in one direction, uh, similar to wood. Uh, it gives it a very nice aesthetic appearance. I've done this throughout the body, so the sides as well, and then uh, the back, you can see. So as you see, it gives natu natural uh, pattern um, and it makes it look like wood. Actually, a lot of people mistake it for wood, think that it's wood, but it is flex fiber. Um, sound wise, the idea was that um, flex fiber, it's a very strong fiber, uh, but the composite material is not as lightweight uh, as carbon fiber when you apply it to soundboards. So it is a little bit heavier um, and also it has a, it's a material with a slightly higher damping uh, and so all of these things uh, affect the sound color of the instrument um, which is very round very warm uh, and mellow uh, it's i think very easy to produce a beautiful sound um, but always consistently the same sound so the sound is in a way maybe uh, you can, you can play with it less. If you want this shadow to sound ugly, it's very hard. And if you want it to sound beautiful, it's very easy. You can make it sound beautiful um, close to the fingerboard, uh, close to the bridge. Uh, so it's, it's very even uh, in that way, which is both an upside, of course, and a downside. Um, I could see the shallow work for a number of uh, music pieces. I think especially um, music pieces where the shallow is not meant to be very loud, but more... Um, timid or uh, emotional, um, some, some pieces like that, I think, uh, then this cello would be very good for that sound. Um, I will play the instrument a little bit for you. Please note, I am not a cellist, I am a cello maker. I'm only playing this instrument just so you can hear the, the timbre, the sound color of this instrument. Because of that reason, I will not play a music piece, because if I would try, I would butcher it and you would complain. Uh, so I will just play some notes so you can hear the sound call. from glass fiber. Um, glass fiber is a uh, man-made material. Uh, it's been used for a very, very long time. Uh, we've, we've had it around for a couple of decades. Uh, it's mostly used to make boats, for example, or uh, the blades from windmills. Actually, all the things that need to be very strong and durable, um, but also need to be lightweight. And those are often made from glass fiber. So it's actually a quite a cheap product, relatively cheap. Um, and if you combine it with a clear epoxy, like I did here, um, it is transparent uh, in a way. So uh, you can see a little bit through the instrument, which gives it a nice aesthetical appearance. You can see, of course, for the top plate, um, that it's not only glass fiber. You see this honeycomb. Uh, it's uh, an aramid honeycomb. Uh, and that actually makes it a sandwich construction, is what they call it. 
So what you actually do is you combine two thin layers of a material, the glass fiber, and in between you put a core layer which is very lightweight and that really increases the stiffness a lot without actually increasing a lot of weight. Uh, for a soundboard, that's what we want. Um, glass fiber would be a little bit too heavy if we would not do this. So for the back plate, it's okay. Uh, but for the top plate, I put this sandwich core uh, in between to make it sufficiently lightweight uh, and stiff. In the, uni in the flex shell, I've used unidirectional fibers. Here, I've combined it. Um, so I've used woven fibers, which means fibers run multiple directions. For the top plate, it's both in this direction and in that direction. That makes that the shallow is overall more stiff, uh, everything in the shallow. Also the sides and the back have fibers running in multiple directions. So that makes it quite a stiff instrument. The idea behind this was that I wanted to match the sound of the instrument with the look of the instrument. So I knew it was going to be a clear uh, instrument. Um, and so I wanted it to be maybe a clear sound, bright, uh, sharpish, uh, like, glass in a way but not glass it's glass fiber so I wanted to play with that idea and so the sound of this instrument is very different from the flex fiber shadow actually you will hear it in a minute um, because of that so um, I've aimed for this shadow to sound totally different from a conventional shadow <laughs> is um, very direct um, it's very unforgiving this show it's it's harder to play for me as an amateur cellist maybe it's too hard to play for me but I've heard uh, professional cellists play on it wonderfully so I think you need to really find a balance with your bow on the instrument um, if you play closer to the fingerboard or closer to the bridge the sound changes a lot <laughs> sound a lot of grit uh, and make the shallow sound yeah anywhere from clear to harsh and with a lot of grit so for some musicians they really like it some musicians think that the sound is too far away from a good sound of a shallow so it's of course subjective um, some people really like it other people really hate it but I think that's a little bit the beauty of the shallow that it's so different um, from a conventional shadow. Um, also, worth the note, um, if you're into shadow making, here you can see the sound post of the instrument, which connects the back and the top plate. And also, because it's see-through, you can see where the bass bar is. So you can see the bass bar running uh, below the right foot. All right, so next up, we only have the carbon shell to go. Carbon fiber shallows have been around for a while now, um, companies like Lewis and Clark, Mezzoforte, uh, they've been making carbon fiber instruments for some, some years now. Um, carbon fiber is a very lightweight and very durable and very stiff material. So actually it lends itself very well to make music instruments. And that's probably also why they have been around for a while, carbon fiber instruments. Um, this shallow is a combination of unidirectional fibers for the top with a little bit of a woven in between in the layout. Um, I've posted a video about how I made this shallow. You can go check that out if you want to. Um, the sides and the back are made from one piece and they are woven carbon fiber to make it very durable. 
other than that, the sound is a little bit in between the glass fiber cello and the flex fiber cello. It's um, both powerful, it's very high, uh, strong A string, uh, but you can play it round and especially, especially this instrument is I think very reliable for a musician. So you ask it to do a certain thing and it just does the thing. So it's very easy to play. That's in contrast to the glass fiber cello, which is a little bit unpredictable, has a little bit more of a character that you need to learn how to play and manipulate it. This instrument is very easy. Um, so yeah, um, I guess I'll play it for you a little bit. Mm -hmm. 